The fundamental principle of echolocation is beautifully simple, yet its execution is a masterpiece of biological engineering. It all boils down to a two-part process. First, the bat has to produce a sound. It's a carefully crafted pulse, short, sharp burst of energy. The call travels outwards in a cone shape, like the beam of a torch, illuminating the world with sound. Sound waves travel until they hit an object, a tree branch, a wall, a building, a juicy beetle. Some waves are absorbed, others reflect back. This reflected sound is the echo. The bat's sensory system is primed, waiting to catch these returning whispers. The bat's brain compares the outgoing call with the incoming echo. By analyzing differences, it extracts information. They translate echoes into a coherent, dynamic, detailed mental map. The brain measures time delay for distance, compares left and right for horizontal position, and uses outer ear distortions for elevation. Integrating these streams yields precise 3D coordinates for every echoing object, 